Hello Stranglers fans, hello punk memorabilia fans. Welcome to another episode of me showing you lovely Strangler stuff. Today I'm showing you a compilation LP from Japan. Um, one of three very similar ones. Um, they put out a compilation album called Famous Numbers and then the Great Lost Stranglers album. Have I got that correct? I think I have. And then the Great Lost Stranglers album continue. Weird titles, weird packaging, uh, photographs which have been doctored of the band. Oops, don't want to do that. I want to do this. Quite awkward to take out this particular one. So let me just pop that there. Yeah, let's see now. Famous numbers. The Great Lost Strangs album, which is the one I'll be showing you today. And the Great Lost Strangs album continued. Now, I'm not going to take this out of its cellophane sleeve because the OB strip is a really, really tight fit and I don't want to damage it in any way. But do you see what I mean about the unusual artwork? Very strange. I mean, obviously, I love that on the OB. The back cover is very strange indeed. So, yeah. What do you make of that? Very strange, a great compilation album, and as always, the pressing is superb. Totally quiet. So, good choice of tracks on side A, if I can read through this fluorescent, phosphorescent, retina burning font and colour. Side A kicks off with Choosy Susie. Peasant in the Big Doodah. Go buddy go, straighten out, five minutes, rock it to the moon and shut up. What a fantastic side A. Side B is as just as good. It kicks off with walk on by. Boobies. Mean to me. Old Codger. Fools rush out. Yellow Kate UF6. Sverige. Yaga in Snurd. Pow Os from 10. And the reason I have substituted the titles for two of these tracks uh, is because I'm trying to get away from getting a strike by YouTube's by the, the what do they call them the um, the analytics the logarithms Cause if I say what the two words are I might get a strike that is how restrictive YouTube has become but uh, very good very very strange packaging I've got to admit it and the, the packaging on the other two compilation albums are just as just as strange. There we go. Uh, sold in its traditional U sleeve. Well, this one is, a, I think, a substitute sleeve because it's made by the famous Nagoka company. I don't think this sleeve would have come with this album. Right, gently pull it out. It's on the Liberty Grey label. That's side one, obviously. This is side two. Never been played. Speck of... Uh, a speck of something there, which is easily removed. Super sparkly. Minty mint. Now just watch me drop the Dern thing. I do aim to pick up the other two compilation albums in the fullness of time. Uh, but not just yet. I got offered this at a quirky, <sighs> well, not a quirky price as such, but a reasonable price. It's um, generally I got this half the price of what these things normally sell for. Just can't argue with that, can we? So again, just a, a very quick video, just to show you this wonderful Japanese compilation album. Don't see too many of them about. Um, but they are freely available online, put it that way. You don't see them too much in the flesh. 
but online no problem just um, expect to pay around about uh, 80 to 90 euros and make sure if you buy them make sure they come with the OBs with the sashes there um, if you spot one for sale without the OB you can expect it to be about half price right gotta go busy day today thanks for joining me thank you so much please comment and like the video and if you're a first time viewer of the channel a subscribe would be really helpful thanks very much everyone have a fantastic week ahead and we're racing towards the weekend now so have a have an amazing weekend whatever you get up to be safe bye for now